I talked to leaders in the West and they say that they need the officers that were involved in Breonna Taylor's shooting death to be fired from the police force and, uh, for, from the police force and also arrested and charged in her death. And they say that the protesting will not stop until that happens, but that is not the only demand they have. We hear the chants. Black lives matter. We see the protesting and we view the memorials. We need to do the work. Now here are the demands. Community leaders in Louisville want to see the Metro Police Department recruit more minority police officers. They want LNPD to better reflect the community it serves. Right now, the police department is about 12% black. They need to double that to represent the black community. We police differently. We are a melting pot, and that's our community. Our police department should reflect the community that it serves. So it, it just makes sense. They also want to know how much money is being spent on minority recruitment, the type of power the Citizens Review Board will have, and how quickly they'll be able to access whatever resources they need. And when police officers mess up on the job, community leaders want them removed quickly in the future. They also want police to be held accountable as well. We never get those apologies. We never get any admissions. There are lawsuits. They get settled. People go to jail or not. And um, I think there's got to be accountability. We know there are good police officers, and we want them to be safe. We want them to be able to do their jobs. When our community is unsafe, it's unsafe for all of us. It's unsafe for good officers, too. We are living in trying times. We can do better. We must do better. The government must do better. Another thing that community leaders say that they want to see is more investment in the West. And they say that there is just not being done. Nothing is being done enough in the West. And they say that the new police chief, whoever it may be, will be crucial in building that gap between police and the community. Reporting live in downtown Louisville, Kristen Pierce, WHAS 11 News. And Doug, I'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Kristen.